Hello and in today's PIC microcontroller assembly we are going to be using buttons as inputs. Let's first go over the schematic. I still have these 8 LEDs connected to the B port and then you'll see I've added two switches on the D port on RD2 and RD3. Now these switches are connected with a pull up to 5 volts and then the switch will short down to ground when the switch is pressed. Let's go over to the code. Now since we want to use the D port, we are going to have to set the two D port bits as input. So what we are going to start with is a bit set flag instruction and that's going to be tris D and that's going to be number two. We copy that line and that's going to be number three. So now we have set the tris D bits as input. By default they are set as input but to make triple sure we set it in the code as well. Then the next thing we do is we test if the bit is set on the port register. So you read the bits on the port to check what its value is. What we do is we use a bit test skip if set. So we use that function. Now this one is used to check if the value on the port pin is 1. Since we are using pull up resistors on the inputs then by default the port value is going to be 1 and when we press the button the port value is going to be 0 or ground. So we take our port D and we say comma 2 for the second bit in port D and then we copy that over then we test bit 3. Now we need to set one of the LED outputs. We are going to do a bit set and that's going to be on port B and number 2. So I'm going to set RB2 on the B port and then if the other button on port D3 is pressed I'm going to switch on the LED on port B bit 3. Okay, now let's quickly program the pick. Now you'll see if I press one of the buttons you'll see the LED goes on and stays on. And then if I press the other button the LED also goes on and stays on. Now this is not particularly useful because you only have a one shot fire and the LED just stays on. So you need to add something to clear the LED when the button is not pressed. So let's go back to the code. To clear the LED we are going to use bit test skip if clear. So now we take these two instructions and we are basically going to invert them. So this is going to be bit test clear and then we are going to say bit clear flag on these two and then we can program the pick again. Now we can see the pick again. Now when I press and hold the button you'll see the LED go on and when I release the button the LED goes off and then exactly the same for the other button. And now we are going to add some debouncing to the code. Okay now for debouncing we are going to create a new subroutine which is debounce button 1 and then a second subroutine which is basically going to be identical except it's going to be button 2. And in that section we are going to move our bit test flag to there and then our bit test flag to the other one. So, and then after that we call our 100 millisecond delay and then after that we return back to where we were in the code. And then we just copy these two lines over here. And that is our subroutines and now all we do here is we say call button 1 and we copy that over and we call button 2. Save that and we quickly program the pick again. And now you can see the buttons individually going again. So now they are also debounced. So you'll have less uh, jitter on the output. Then I'm going to show you something of interest. 
these two, if we don't test for a low on these two buttons, then you'll see something that I just personally found interesting. So let's just program the pick. So immediately after a press, we are clearing the output on the LED. So we go to the board, press, and if we hold both down, we'll see one of the LEDs start flashing. If you only hold one, it's fine, perfectly. And then if you press it again, see the LED start flashing. I just personally found this very interesting. And that's a basic introduction to using buttons as inputs on a PIC microcontroller using assembly. A like, share, comment and subscribe will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.